Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Pursuits Laboratory. And today we're going to go over a simple yet pretty difficult task, and that is to find the center of a circular piece. So these two parts here that I've got were both water jet pieces, so I had them cut out on a water jet machine. Not the best, as you can tell, there was some layer separation, I had issues, and so I had to end up remaking all of these pieces from scratch out of stock. Now, finding a hole saw to cut the outside diameter is pretty much impossible. 75 millimeters, 3 inches, it's not an easy one to find, something that will slide perfectly inside your 3 inch tube with a hole saw. So usually you end up having to draw out a 3 inch circle, or well this was a 4 inch circle, and then um, cut it out, sand it, and then you still have to find the center of the circle to put in either the center hole, which this is a pretty simple hole uh, saw size to find for a 38 millimeter or 54 millimeter tube. Both are very easy hole saw diameters. Um, but you still don't have that center point marked. And this is also a helpful way to find a central axi line for adding additional holes. Now, the way I go about this, and it's the way I've seen it done most often, is you're coming up on an edge and on that edge, I do a two inch span. So if we show here, so zero touches on one edge of the circle and two inches touches on the other edge of the circle. No, come on, stay there. So then I draw a line and I mark the one inch center point. Now, the moment I draw a line so I go make sure I go perpendicular to the line I already have and right off it that line as you can tell already goes straight through the center of my circle and it also gives me a perfect line to get my opposing points say I wanted to drill two holes a certain distance off I can measure them but you still haven't figured out exactly where that center point is so you just come and you find any other point you really want to and you choose it it doesn't have to be you definitely don't want it to be directly on the other side. You need it to be off at an angle a little bit. But come and I do this or that. Come in here and you do the two inch trick again. Mark it one inch and come draw your next perpendicular line. So not quite there. There we go. And you'll notice if I go ahead and draw all the way across where the two would actually intersect, which unfortunately I've already got a hole here, but that would be the dead center, and that's where you'd want to drill your hole. But now I've also got, well, I already showed that by making just one line, I have a perfect bisector to the center of this, and it allows me to put outside holes. I've used this on rockets for putting uh, motor mount retain retention holes in um, by adding uh, mounts for I bolts, U bolts, whatever I'm using to attach my shock cord on. But with this simple little trick of just making two two inch lines, marking one inch bisector, and then drawing perpendicular across, it makes that perfect center point. And that allows you to find the center of any circular object. Thanks for watching, gang. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you really liked what you're seeing here, please consider subscribing and hanging around for more content that I have coming out. And you can check out more of my stuff at the links in my description below that go to my Facebook page and my website where I've got more information and content on my projects. Thanks for watching, gang.